Alright, it said if I tapped Rotom, something would happen, right? Yeah, that's cute. Okay. Can I, like, click on the map? Yeah, here we go. Okay, how do I zoom in? Y? Which one's Y? This one? Yeah, okay. He even gives me a waypoint. That's neat. Very cool. Okay, so another unpopular opinion, I'm sure. I like Rotom. Even the version in this game that talks to you more, I like him. I can't really explain why, because, like, objectively, he is a little annoying. But, like, I don't find him to be bad annoying. I find him to be kind of, like, endearingly annoying, you know? And I know Lily said she didn't want people going up there, but... I mean, I am still a little suspicious of what's going on with her, so I feel like I should probably check it out, right? Is that a real Murkrow? Hey, Murkrow. Craw, craw, craw. Murkrow, it's such a good Pokemon. Very well-loved Pokedoll. Make a bag lens case. Seem to be popular items in Lolo. Diary. Uh, I'm not going to read that. So, I mean, she's got a bed set up. A bed for Nebby, maybe? Or maybe, like, maybe that's where Rockruff sleeps and she just happens to be sleeping in the same place. Old books, they look pretty advanced. It seems like a pretty normal room. Nothing suspicious about it. This is such a cool little place. Like, there's not a ton to interact with here, right? Because it's, it's a building in a Pokemon game. But it's got a lot of personality to it. Like, he's even got, like, actual freaking research stuff around. Neatly organized, which... Very different than everywhere else. And this is... Where you can change your, like, actual Rotom that you use for battling to different forms. And the number of Pokemon moves, 600 distinct, used by every Pokemon in battle. Able to remember max support moves at a time. One of the fifth moves, let's forget one. Okay, so this is just basics on Pokemon moves. It's all stuff here or knows. Which, I mean, it's a good resource for new, resource for new players, I guess. Alright, I'm heading out. See ya. And the Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, here? Yeah, I've, I can see it from my room. Ah. Everything has fallen into darkness. Thankfully, we're not talking about the Star Trek movie Into Darkness, because that was a horrible experience. And this is just going to be, like, one of those things that could end the world far, far superior. Uh, Nebby, don't worry, it's okay. This must be what they call a solar eclipse. It happens when the sun gets covered up. Uh, was the solar eclipse forecast for today? Solar eclipses take way longer than that, too. Ah, uh, well, it must be some kind of good omen, yeah? Yeah, you continue to think that. That's fine. An omen? And you think something good will happen? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, sure, a long time ago, Alola was choked in darkness, yeah? But people say that's when Alola's people and Pokemon blasted all that darkness away with light. And they also say that was why people started gathering Z-Crystals, and that custom had turned into the Island Challenge. Neat. Hero. Now that you've got that Z-Power Ring, I hope you'll collect tons of Z-Crystals. And that's exactly what a move researcher like me needs to uncover new secrets. And professor, that's not why he's supposed to be doing it. Come on, hero, I'll show you to the Pokemon Center. Alright, cool. Um... You okay now? Yeah. And see, I'll be answering Rotom, too, when he talks to me. I don't really see a reason not to. It's like the Pokemon Care thing. It may take another extra second or so, but, like, it doesn't hurt anything to just do it. Oh, hey, here's a water type. Hey, you little girl by that cave. We wanted a water type. Here's a water type. Um, I don't care about it, though, so I'm going to knock it out. Hopefully. Hopefully my Grubbin will be able to knock it out. It's using Curse. Jeez, I forgot Curse is like one of Slowpoke's starting moves. That's nuts. It's pretty dangerous. Vice Grip again. 
Still did a decent amount. He's got Yawn. How annoying. Ugh, hit it again. Jeez. And now I'm stinking of sleep. God damn it. Alright. Where's Awakenings? Boom. Glad I found a cup. Well, glad I got given one of those and then found another one. That was that was. I, I'm still hung up on how cute a cutscene that was with Meowth coming into the bedroom like that. All right, hit it again. Let's go. One more should do it, even with his defense up. Gave me practically no experience. That was bad. God dang it, I was almost at the stinking grass. God damn. <sighs> Another stinking ink. Alright. Try mud slap. Have a little bit of fun with that, real quick. Get it. Smack. Inkay's accuracy rose because it is contrary. Of course it does. God damn it. I mean, I know they don't all have it, because I was able to lower one speed. This is actually probably a pretty good NK to catch. But again, I can't evolve it with the emulator, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> okay, that's going to knock me out, probably. No? Just almost. Let's heal up, then. Since I can keep battling, I might as well, right? Leave me with you out. Um, all, all but one HP. That'll take me down to 20. I mean, it's not gonna knock me out. I'm still just, I'm still just... I feel like I need to pay attention to my HP, because Grubbin's not, like, awful early game, but it's not, like, great either, right? Mud Slap should finish it. Go for it. Boom. It's level 6, too, so that should give me decent experience. What's wrong with you, bud? Mud. Alright, mud is the towel, I think? Yeah. There you go. Alright, let's get, let's get going then. Yeah. Alright, so we're home free at this point. The Pokemon Center is just right over this way. Here, let me show you the Pokemon Center. Follow me. I mean, I've been to a Pokemon Center before, but sure. I'm not gonna argue with spending time with you. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. And you can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. Yep, I know. And at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that should help you during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. Over there is the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moomoo Milk. Mmm, Moomoo Milk's delicious. I read something in a travel guide about Alola ones. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. The cafe may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats that sometimes the staff have and sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. That's neat. We should head to the trainer's school next. But have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think they need a little aid. Thanks, Lily. Um, that's probably a, probably a good call. Uh, so the trainer's school next. Yeah. Probably not going to read Rotom's dialogue, though. The Rotom stuff will be more for me than for you guys, you know? Yeah, yeah, thanks. You know any tips for trial goers? Lily said you might. Uh, welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. It's about 8 o'clock now in Lola. Here's our cafe space. Or here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. Oh, you've given your Pokemon seven Pokebeans. Pokebeans make Pokemon happy. I think I'll give you a present. Rare candy, so that's the thing that can happen occasionally at these cafes, which is great. Yep. 
Um, I don't need milk, why not? Yep. I yeah, got it. Then if you'll just give me a moment. Here you are. One moo milk, just for you. Just one sip and you'll be hooked. I know, I've had it before. It's like a drug. This milk is so mellow yet rich and that it'll make you wish your mother was a milk tank. I don't... I mean, my mom doesn't nurse me anymore. Does yours nurse you? I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take my drink and go, I think? Um, thanks. I'm still still gonna leave, though. And got some bogey beans. Yeah, I know. You already told me about that. Please let me go now. Alright, cool. That was fun. Got more pokey beans, which is nice. Got a rare candy, which is great. Um, I'm gonna try to level up as much as I can without using them, but it'll be nice to have a couple in reserve in case I get stuck somewhere. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is... It's a... a what in the world? That is a Taurus. It looks about ready to charge at us. You should probably move. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Taurus there. Uh, but we were only planning to go as far as the trainer's school anyway. Uh, we'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me! Yeah, running away from Taurus is proudly smart. Pretty cool location. I'm gonna save again as soon as I'm done with this cutscene. Hey there, hero! It must have passed you two somewhere, yeah? Uh, probably when we were in the Pokemon Center, honestly. And but welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a, po a Pokemon trainer. I know how to be a Pokemon trainer. I'm, I'm honestly okay. Hey, Professor Kikui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, hero is a real tough one, too. Uh, put him through the ringer, good, teach. Four trainers. Uh, you've got to beat four Pokemon trainers here at the Pokemon School, hero. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah? I mean, literally it will. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Okay, experience share, that'll help. If you keep that experience share on, yeah, all your Pokemon on your team can get experience points from battle. Now, the trainers who take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things there that will help on your journey, I'd say. I will. I, I already know them, it's fine. Alright, let's let the lesson begin. Yeah, she may not look all that tough, but that... And teach, trains, or kids right. And one of our students is even a captain. And if you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it in your next battle. And wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. And battle all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then Rotom's down there reminding me that there's four trainers, which is considerate of him. Grab this item without bumping into the tree too many times. Helpful. Yeah, look, look live, Rodon. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you're one of the trainers I'm supposed to fight. I have to talk to you. And if my precious Bonsai takes damage in a Pokemon battle, I want to use a potion on it. Yep. Or go to the Pokemon Center or just rest for a while. All those things are good. A young athlete Hiromi. Okay. And as per her dialogue, she has a Bonsai. And I have a Bug Zap. Not a great matchup. Bug versus Rock. I have Mud Slap, though. That might do something. Get it. Got its accuracy down, which is nice. Has fake tears. That's... Annoying. What's it going to hit special defense with, though? It is accuracy down more. When it does decide to attack me, I want it to miss. Or not. Whatever. At least I'm doing pretty decent damage with that. And getting a beneficial effect off at the same time. You see, now it's missing me. Good. I mean, Mud Slap is literally just Sand Attack that does a little bit of damage, too. And it missed again, which is good, because Flail will do way more damage now that it's weaker. Like, this thing is actually pretty dangerous. 
this early in the game. Having flail. And it hits. Alright. Didn't knock me out even with a crit, though, so I might have been overthinking how dangerous it was. Oh, of course, she has potions. She even mentioned using a potion on her Pokemon when it was weakened. Ugh, how annoying. Keep getting its accuracy down. And I'm also going to use a potion because screw you, lady. Two can play at that incredibly tedious game. And it hit again. Of course it did. Hardly did anything that time, though, because its HP is back up. I only have four Mud Slaps left, though. Which is annoying. I wanted to be able to use Mud Slap in more than just this one battle. I don't know that I can leave the school and come back, either. I've never tried. Let's just go to Vice Grip. Just whittle it down. Alright, it's hitting now in spite of the accuracy decreases, so I might have to switch in a second. Yikes. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna switch. Uh, go, Diana. Which is gonna suck if it hits me, but I don't think it'll hit me. Okay, good, we're good. Um, and I should be able to finish it with a single leafage. That's a little annoying. I was hoping Bug Zap could do it, but I was at a pretty stark disadvantage, and I think I did better than I could have, so that's, that's, that's fine. And Bug Zap will still get enough experience from that to level to 8, which is good. Very nice. Don't worry. I'll heal any pain that was caused by our defeat. And I wasn't really worried about you, but you know, good for you? Yeah, I know. Uh, like, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed because I'm a hero. I'm playing as hero. And he knows all this stuff. Can't go back there. Um, but this is this is really neat. This is a really neat section for like new players, right? It's not like you're just going to the Pokemon school and, be, and you're expected to read the blackboard. You get to come here and have battles, and that's fun. Can I leave the area? Go heal. Apparently, I can. All right. I, mean, I prefer not to. It's kind of like when I go to a gym, but still, heal me. Once again, the Pokemon Center's counter doesn't have an exit. Does she just live back there? So weird. What do you say? Yeah, I know. Thanks. Alright, let's get going. I'm gonna try to knock out the whole trainer school today if I can. Alright, so I got one of four. There's a thing. Very nice. I replaced the one I used. Hello. Ready and grass fire water. Um, which one wins again? And which would win in a matchup between grass type and water type? Grass. Right, right. Yeah, that's it. You must be a great trainer. I am. Thank you for recognizing that. Um, I think there's, I think there's a guy over here. In, like, this area. Oh, there's an item. Grab the item. Antidote. That could be helpful. Especially since I do know you can find poison types in this area. Paralyze heal also could be useful. Ah, god dang it. What is it now? Magnemite, interesting. And Rotom has never seen that Pokemon. And let's see how much a Mud Slap does to it, since it'll be quad weak. Might be a good opportunity to get some easy experience for Bug Zap. Only did a little over half. All right. Bug Zap is very weak, and Mud Slap isn't very powerful though, so that that makes sense. Might have had a sturdy too, so it being a two hit KO isn't the end of the world. And apparently, using Mud Slap got Bug Zap dirty, which is just hilarious. Alright, hello, small child. I'll show you my Grimer's best move. With poison gas, it'll poison everyone that comes at us. That's annoying. <sighs> I'll kick your ass anyway, though. 
Youngster Joey. So we meet again. Now this is clearly a different person than the last one. Okay. Poison type. Mud Slap will be fairly effective against this too, so... Hit it. And accuracy down, which is good. And it missed with poison gas. Fantastic. That's a very good thing. Accuracy down again. Missed again. He didn't even try going for poison again. He just wants to do, do damage before his accuracy gets too low. Still take three more hits to knock it out, which is annoying. But still, I'm doing alright. Ah, that'll hurt a little. Come on. Get it. Blub blub. And it actually hit with the poison gas. God dang it. I, I'll be able to knock it out though before I take too much damage. So that's that's fine. It would have been much worse if it had hit early in the match. Splat. Throwing mud at some crud. And I won't even have to use an antidote outside of battle. I can just heal the poison in the care menu. Look how sad he looks. He'll be better in a second, buddy, I promise. Here, you're gonna have one of these blue beans. I've got a metric butt ton of them. Get out of here. A grass type Pokemon are immune to powder moves like poison powder and sleep powder, but you can still poison them with poison gas. Yeah. Look alive, Rotom. Alright, where could the other ones be? They said inside or outside, so I'm assuming at least one's inside. Let's head inside and check. Uh, this looks like, like a classroom where they're teaching type matchups. Yeah, look at my Metapod! He's got an orange berry! Good for it, I'm gonna kick its ass. Preschooler Mia. Alright. And, per her dialogue, she has a Metapod. Which is a really tough Pokemon. And it also has an Orenberry. By tough, I don't mean, like, powerful. I mean tough as in it's hard to kill. And therefore annoying. So I'm going to switch to my guy who has a move that's super effective against it. It has Tackle, too, which means she's raising it right. Peck. Boom. And Orenberry, but... I might still be able to knock it out with one more hit, yeah. Not a bad fight, all things considered. Like, again, another thing that is better about these games than Sun and Moon... The trainer school battles are far less challenging and interesting in regular Sun and Moon than they are here. Like, the, the trainer school trainers actually seem like they are using actual legit tactics in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon versus in the originals. And defeated preschooler Mia. Metapod, have a berry! She's adorable. I'll give you some more berries too. They're great to have your Pokemon hold. Thanks. Feel sorry for your teacher. You seem pre precocious, let's say. Alright, bye. Right, and there's more stuff around in here. Hello. Oh, here's your Pokemon. Whether it has any claws or not, it would probably get a kick out of this one. As always, if there's a quick claw to be gotten, there's a better than decent shot that you're going to be getting it at the Pokemon School. Uh, I don't know if I'll end up using that in this playthrough, but it's worth having. Can't get upstairs yet, or I'm going to head outside. I saw what looked like an arena. Maybe there's a kid in the arena. Hey, right, there is a kid in the arena. Alright. Battle me, child. You look like you beat everybody else, huh? But don't think you'll beat me the same way. 
Atkins' ability is going to get you. Alright, so it's relying on Intimidate, which is, you know, not bad. Rising Star Joseph. Send out Ekans. Not bad. Another Poison type, though, which means I'll still be able to do a little extra damage to it with my ground type move. That's annoying, though. And let's see how much this does. I only have three uses of it left. That's a little annoying. I avoided Wrap even without lowering its accuracy first. Not a ton. I'll probably just attack with Vice Grip now. Maybe String Shot it down once. It's got Bite, which is annoying. I flinched. God damn it. That's going to be real annoying. And now I'll heal back up. He shouldn't be able to flinch me with Bite anymore. Because I should be faster at this point. Like, Grubbin's not super fast, but this is early game where a couple of stages means... Uh, me means everything, right? Yeah, it's getting hit with Wrap this time. That's annoying. I, th I think I still got this, though. I think I'm okay. It's that residual damage that's really worrying me. Let's see, am I faster? I am, okay. Yeah, pretty decent damage. And you can't flinch me with Bite now. Might have to heal again, but I should still have it. Get it. How much... okay. How much is that gonna do? Yeah, okay, so I counted right. Can I beat it with more vice grip? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes. Okay. Good. That was that was pretty good. Pretty solid. And winning unit after your your attack stat is lowered. An indomitable spirit, indeed. Yeah, I think I did okay. Intimidating's ability is an ability that lowers your opponent's attack stat. If you understand your Pokemon's abilities, you can use the best strategies in battle. But fine, whatever. I can admit when I'm beat. I'll even give you a reward. Um, and take this techn technical machine. <laughs> yeah, TM01, which is work up, which isn't bad. I'm probably not going to use it. Uh, at least not long term or anything. Yeah, I know how they work, man. It's fine. Thanks. Thanks. I'm going to... We're, we're, we're done. No, oh, that's the school bell. Attention all students. Would Hero please come up to the office on the second floor? Hero to the second floor office, please. What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? Nothing. Not this time, anyway. And that's what you say. <laughs> Look how mad she is. Oh, that's freaking hilarious. She's adorable. Um, I should probably actually go heal first, though. That teacher lady's not around anymore. She's probably going to want to battle me, too, right? And I'm good and recovered. Way is clear now. I mean, it was only blocked by a small child and a cat before. I probably could have gotten through. Hero, I can't believe that you beat all of my students. Fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. Yeah, I figured. What do you say? Are you ready to take me on? Sure. Good. I heard about you from Professor Kukui. I'll be challenging you with a Pokemon that has a type advantage against that Rowlet. Yeah, you chose for your partner. That's not good, because both of my guys are weak to the same kinds of things. Okay, Witten. Big surprise. Okay, so... Hmm... I want to lower its speed because I want to I want to move before this thing. That's the most important thing right now. Now, if I can can also get off a of mud slap and get its accuracy down a stage, that would be nice. But that's like a fringe benefit. Okay. Pretty decent damage. And I dodged. All right. Good. 
So Bug Zap's doing better than I expected. That's nice. I can get his accuracy down a few stages. That'd be even better. But I didn't. I got it down two. And a few is three to five. So. Get out of here. Come on. I've got Astonish, which I think can flinch. What does Astonish do? Exactly. Um, and he also made the target flinch. 30 damage. Alright. Um. See if I can flinch it. I don't know. Who? Yeah, okay. I flinched it once. See if I can flinch it again. Who? Yep, here comes the Ember. Alright. Yikes. Okay. Alright. Great. That's great. That's the absolute worst thing that could have happened. What have I got in here? What does this do? See, it doesn't matter because it did more than half damage anyway. God damn it. Heal me, and then if I survive the turn, I'll use the unburning thing. God damn it. Okay, you really suck, and I hate you. Just FYI. That was very bad. That was very unlucky. Because I might have been able to knock it out with a single hit of, like, Peck or something. But the, the burn is really screwing that up. <sighs> this is stupid. And it's not missing at all, even though it's... Um, it's accuracy is effectively halved. On miss. God damn it. And because of the burn, I'm taking a little bit of extra damage each time. This is stupid. If it hits me again, I die. That's it. God damn it. Alright, fine. Great. Screw you, man. Yeah, okay. That's just utterly ridiculous. Screw you. Yeah, I know, I can count, thanks. How annoying. Alright, fine. Let's, um... Give a couple of orange berries to my guys, I guess. I mean, I could use work up, but it wouldn't really help all that much. Give. Come on. Yeah. And I'm gonna actually save. I had already hit the back button before I decided to do that, but you know. Alright. I don't lose very often, so I'm a little miffed. Still, you know, it's kind of exciting, right? I'm gonna run. I think Hero would run to try to get a rematch like this, right? This is actually a pretty tough battle, all things considered. If you're this early in the game. Alright, I think my strategy from the last time actually will probably work with just a little more luck and the strategic use of those berries. So let's get that string shot off first. Okay, will that set off the berry? Yes, okay. Which won't save me from another ember, though, will it? That's a little annoying. Still, you know, it might, it might, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll get saved by a damage range. Hit it. Or maybe I'll just be able to whittle this thing down to zero by hitting its accuracy. Maybe I'll get extremely lucky. Boom. Missed again, which is great. Keep going. Beautiful, beautiful. Missed again, holy shit. Should be able to do this in two more hits. Maybe. Missed again. Oh my god. 
Get it. That is nuts. That's absolutely nuts how much easier that was this time. And having the Orin Berry didn't contribute to that it being easier at all. It would have been exactly as easy without the berry. Jeez. Got Bite, which is pretty neat. Which, like, not the best move for something like Grubbin that's only kind of, sort of fast a little bit. But I do have String Shot to lower speed, so, you know. Yeah, I think my happiness level went up. I'm gonna show some care to Diana, too, though, since I haven't been using Diana in battle much. How you doing? Alright. Nice. Maybe you'd like to take over as a teacher here for me. Maybe someday. Ah, that was a joke. All joking aside, though, I don't want you to take these. Or I do want you to take these from me. Turn on. Okay. Five great balls. Pretty early in the game to get, be getting gift great balls, but I'm not going to complain about it. Hey, it's Kikui and some weird looking guy. I know your Pokemon and know your moves. Those are the basis of being a trainer. How about it? Greetings, Captain Lima here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You looked so very delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Hero, who moved here for, to the Alolan region from the Kanto region. I mean, kinda, but not really. And he's real. He ha, he's got a real sense of how to use moves, and I think he's gonna go far as a trainer. Yeah. I mean, I already have, but you know. I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials uh, you will face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. My trial is held in the Verdant Cavern. Uh, the trial of Captain Lima. Uh, you can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in uh, the patches of tall grass in Howley City. Perhaps you'll want to fill out your team a bit before attempting my trial. Probably. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. Yeah, alright. I like his hair. Oh yeah. I reported uh, to the folks upstairs about that Taurus blocking the road out front again. And that guy's Taurus is pretty much a celebrity here on Melee Melee, you know? Well, I guess it's time we dismiss you from school, Hero. Attention all students. Hero has completed his lesson at the trainer's school. Uh, be good to your Pokemon, and try to follow through with those status conditions, too. I don't know which ones. The, the kids are all just talking to me at this point. I don't know which one's talking. That's the berry girl. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I do like that this happens here. Like, they all come together to see you off. It makes it feel like this was a thing that happened to your, your character and not just a, a side quest to complete, right? Yeah, show them what you're made of, hero. I intend to. You seem to be in perfect sync with your grubbin, weren't you? Um, since we've come this far together, why don't I show you some more of the city? Hey, come on, there's lots to see. You know, I think she likes being around me as much as I like being around her, which I'm totally cool with. Hey! Hero, over here! You know... I was really impressed seeing how you battled with your Pokemon at the trainer's school. It feels like you've really given it your all for your Pokemon's sake. I think that's why you were able to save Nebby that time, Hero. Oh, I forgot about Taurus. Okay, Hal's being a freaking idiot. Of course he is. <sighs> oh, if it isn't Lillian Hero. Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time to get old Taurus back home. Oh, but I've got an idea. Why don't you give him a little pat, Hero? Okay. Are you going to pet the big old Taurus? I bet my chassis is a hundred times smoother. Don't get jealous, Rotom. Um, pet its face. Rascal already loves me. I guess that was the right choice. Pokemon become happier when you show them some care. A little hint. All this is all a tutorial, right? So that's just another little hint about the care menu thing. <laughs> all the places you'll go, child. And as you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. Thanks, man. Yeah, the, Kikuna, the Kahunas sure are something, eh? 
able to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Taras plenty and all, but it is pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. Yeah, so where are you off to? Or where are you two off to now? I was thinking I should show Hero around Hawaii City a bit. Nice idea. Uh, you're always on top of things, Lily. Uh, Hero just got here to Alola, huh? Uh, then let me tag along too. I want to go get some good or something good to eat. All right, let's all go together. And uh, then uh, what are we waiting for? This way. Come on. All right. Yeah, we're coming, man. You're just really fast. Oh, how? I guess we should catch up with him before he gets too far, Hero. Howley City is the biggest city in all Alola. Neat. Yeah. That's gonna be about it for this episode, guys. It's a little longer than usual, but I wanted to get through all that today. Um, I hope you're enjoying the Moon slash Ultra Moon Let's Play. I'm, I'm really getting a kick out of this. Um, regardless of which version of these games I like better, I do like these games, right? So this is this has all been a lot of fun for me. Look alive, Rotom. I don't like your nice, smooth, shiny body. Um, it's really cool. Yeah. Special order made from material that's lightweight. That's cute. Um, either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.